Well, after the wind yesterday, sorry, but I thought we'd just do this one somewhat indoors today. And, you know, really, as I was sitting there today at my computer, it's been an amazing time to just sit quietly and think about who we are, where we're going as a society and how we want to get there. And one of the questions that I often come up with is, you know, what are the greatest threats to our conservation? What are the greatest threats to our wildlife and indeed to our to our, our ecosystems? And I think some of them are obvious, some of them are a little less obvious. So I thought today we should talk about some of those. I think the greatest threat to our big landscapes, our large ecosystems are of course the human pressure that they're under. And that's not always directly human pressure. Although in Africa, there's many, many wildlife areas, many, many national parks, game reserves, and, and areas set aside for wildlife that have got human populations right up to their boundary. And as much as everybody hates fences, truly a fence is something that's one of the modern day conservation tools. And it's a, it's a great conservation tool. It, it separates, it stops the lions going in and eating the cattle. It stops the elephants going and eating the crops and truly eliminates a lot of that human wildlife conflict. But getting back to the first question, what is, what is the greatest threat to our wildlife? And it is the growing human element. It is all of us around the planet eating more, taking more land to live, taking more land to grow our crops on. There's only so much land on earth and only a certain proportion of that is set aside for wildlife. So the human element is obviously the very first threat. The second threat is industry. We will pursue money as humans. We pursue money and we pursue a business model long before we pursue just the simple beauty of a wild space. If you've got a wild space and that wild space has the opportunity of generating millions of dollars through mining, through possibly being turned into a farm to, to grow macadamia nuts or avocados or, you know, oranges, whether that land has got the opportunity to be a place where you can build a, a, a high, high rise building, very often it's the, the thing that will drive how it's used is money. So the use of land is a great threat to our ecosystems. I think another great threat to our ecosystems is the thought that someone else will save it. We all look at these stories that come on social media. Some of you probably even are looking at this story and thinking, well, this is all very well. I'm sure someone's got that in hand. I just want to say this. The welfare of our wildlife and our wild areas is everybody's responsibility, not just the conservationists, not just the game rangers on the front line, not just the people on the tip of the spear. It's all of our responsibility. How can we possibly say that an ecosystem is important if a whole community doesn't see it as being important? And so I think that taking that and taking it to heart and thinking about that for the next 24 hours before we do tomorrow's vlog is really an important thing to me. What role are you playing in conserving wild areas and conserving wildlife? Are you simply skimming through social media or are you engaging with certain posts? Are you possibly putting some of your money on the front line? Are you changing a few small things in your lifestyle that limits your impact? And I think if we really consider that and consider that it's not up to someone else, it's up to us, every single one of us, to keep these ecosystems healthy and the species within them, then as we come out of this COVID-19 crisis, as we all allowed to come back out of our homes, we can go forward with purpose knowing that every single one of us has an important role to play in keeping our ecosystems healthy and our wildlife prolific. Till tomorrow, talk to you then. But in the meantime, like and share this video, get as many people as you can, share this with as many people as you can, because I think this is a very important point. It's all of our responsibility, not just the people who make a living out of conservation.